Hello everybody, thank you for joining me today on my channel. Um, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Katie O'Brien and I am a Boston-based voice teacher. I've um, been doing it for a long time and I love every minute of it. If you are interested in seeing um, a little bit of my teaching style and some of the things I believe in, feel free to subscribe to this channel and absolutely comment and ask questions and I'm always happy to answer. So I'm in between lessons and I wanted to do just a quick video. It popped into my head because I get asked a lot by singers of all levels, beginner, intermediate, advanced, just what, what are my personal favorite things or things that I think every singer should have in their arsenal just to be training as a singer. And there are so many things out there and I, and I love so many more things than what I'm about to list today, but I decided to just kind of gather a few things today to share with you and most of these are pretty easy to acquire. The first thing I want to talk about is I'm going to show you my handy dandy little cup. Actually, it's not so little. This is a humongous cup. See how big this is? I think this is for, no, 32 ounces. I got this at Wegmans. If you have a Wegmans in your area, I don't know if you can see. I don't know if you can see that. It says reduce. This thing is amazing. It has a straw, which I really like. Always have a nice big container to drink water from, is what I'm trying to say. They make all sorts of stuff. I looked on Amazon and I've had these water bottles as well. You know, get a nice big water bottle and they even have time stamps on them like, oh, it's 10 a.m., did you drink this much already? Believe it or not, even though I'm a professional singer and teacher, I am not very good about getting my daily water intake. I know, it's a big no-no, but I don't know if you're like me, I'm one of those people that has a hard time drinking a ton of water and believe it or not i actually have this weird thing with the taste of water i know it's not supposed to taste like anything but i can always taste water there's always something really weird about it and i don't like it so um one of the things you can do is squeeze a little bit of lemon into it i want to show you what i use actually i aim for about i try to aim for a gallon a day i'm not saying you should but um, I usually get between 64 and 72 ounces in um, a gallon if I'm lucky, if I'm feeling really hardcore. But to be honest, I always have to kind of flavor my water a little bit. I don't use anything with sugar or something that will add calories and things like that. You don't want to do that because that almost defeats the purpose of hydrating yourself. But what I do use, and this thing for me is a lifesaver, and I'm not using this to promote stir, like I don't, I'm not doing this for them. I'm just doing this for anyone who's like me. This is stir, S-T-U-R. It's a liquid water enhancer. It has some vitamins in it and it's naturally flavored. Um, no sugar, no carbohydrates, if you think about those things. It's just enough to, to add a little bit of yumminess to your water and it makes you drink more. What I was saying earlier about the straw, again, if you're anything like me and you need to get more water in because you don't drink enough water, a straw is a great way to get a lot of liquids in very quickly. Also, I have sensitive teeth, so there's that. Does it have to be ice cold or warm? No, I, I usually just drink room temperature water. Drink your water however you can get the water in, okay? The temperature isn't that big of a deal. Being hydrated, that is the most important thing. So, speaking of hydration, um, the next thing I wanna show you is my little humidifier. You don't need to buy an expensive cup to drink water out of, and you certainly don't need to buy an expensive humidifier. It's so cute, I got it because I like the shape. <laughs> This is not a warm air humidifier. This is a cool air humidifier. And it's cute because it has a little LED light on the inside and it changes colors. You can do like a little rainbow effect. And you can also with this knob adjust how much uh, uh, vapor, I guess, is coming out. Um, I really like it. It's cool. You don't have to have the LED light on, but I like it on. It's, it's, it works as a night light. You'll see cool air humidifiers. You'll see warm air humidifiers. And there are also a lot of complaints about humidifiers, meaning, um, you know, I, I hear a lot of people talk about the mildew that can, that can happen in these humidifiers. Now, I've never had an issue with mildew with this humidifier. I've had other humidifiers and mildew built really quickly. And, and it's true, you do have to stay on top of that. You have to wash your humidifier on a regular basis. Um, vinegar is a great way to do it. Um, 
you know, look, Google that, Google that. I'm not gonna talk about that right now, but you know, keeping your humidifier clean is important. This humidifier is great because it has these little beads that filter a lot of that junk out and it takes much longer for anything like that to grow. In fact, I've gone as long as a month and I've never had an, I just decided to clean it because I was like, okay, I'm grossing myself out by not cleaning the humidifier. So I cleaned it, but I'm telling you, I highly recommend this one. And you can decide how much humidity you want going on. Um, I turn mine on at night. I, you could leave yours on all day if you want, um, but if you're out and about, I don't, I don't think it's necessary. I think if you're drinking enough water, you're staying hydrated from the inside out, right? And you're on the go. But um, I think the most important thing is to have it on at night so that you're, it just feels good. When you wake up, uh, you feel refreshed, your skin feels nice. Seriously, if it means getting the water intake and the hydration, then do it. Next up, I highly encourage all singers to have some way of seeing their reflection whether it's you know a, a camera like what i'm doing right now but um a mirror is generally the best thing to have you want to have a mirror so you can see the way you carry yourself the way any kind of tension that might be happening in your face or your body it it serves as like an accountability and awareness thing for yourself because you'll be able to tell if your posture is great or if you're slouching, right? You'll be able to tell if there's any underlying or unnecessary tension either here or here, anywhere in your body that you weren't even aware of. And then it's also when you're learning techniques and you're, and you're opening up the mouth, you wanna watch how you sing. Um, because you'd be amazed, and myself included, you'd be amazed at some of these little maybe twitches or tens tensions in your face that that you don't realize you do when you sing. You may not do it in your everyday life, but like when you sing, I know for me, I scrunch up um, my forehead sometimes and I have to really pay attention. It's not necessary, you don't need that, right? So mirror, reflection, great way to observe yourself as a singer, all right? Another thing that I highly encourage all singers to have is a way to record yourself. For example, I mean, if you have a, an iPhone or really any kind of phone, there's probably an app on it that lets you do like a voice memo or just a simple recording. Record yourself singing so you can play it back and listen to yourself. You know, especially if you're taking lessons, right? And they want you to be able to observe yourself. You sound very different out there than you do in here. So record yourself, take a listen, and then it's also a great way to pay attention to pitch. So there's that. Then um, the final thing I wanted to share with you is have something that you can find your own pitch with, like a starting note. What I mean is, say you wanna warm up, but you don't play an instrument, how are you gonna find a note to start on? If you have an instrument, use that to find your note. Otherwise, there are so many apps out there. You can get an app for your phone, and um, I personally, uh, there's I think called a Pitch, Pitch Perfect app, and you just hit the letter name of the note. You can find your pitch that way. So. You know, a, a pitch app of some kind, an instrument, um, or even a pitch pipe. That's very old school, but they're out there. If you go to Amazon, search for a pitch pipe, it's like a little round harmonica looking thing. And again, you can find your note that way just by blowing into it. These things are, are the basics for me. These are like the first things I think of when I think a singer needs to um, have something in place to start their journey of singing that sounded cheesy but it's true so have fun hydrating hydration is super important right feel free to comment below and tell me what kind of water bottles you use i mean i really like this cup that i have maybe you have like a half gallon jug or you have something that measures things out or maybe you have a favorite flavoring so feel free to comment below on that because it'll give me and other people ideas right it's good to kind of share ideas and if you have any other questions or comments about you know, um, the humidifier or, um, you know, a, a way to find your pitch, um, things like that. Um, please let me know. Feel free to comment below and subscribe. And I will definitely have a lot more videos coming up with this kind of stuff. Hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was helpful. And I will talk to you soon. Thank you so much. Bye.